y'all welcome to a brand new episode of beating faces i'm april aka the brooklyn wolf of makeup i hope you guys are having a good day a good week remember please stay inside if you can it's too hot out wash your ass i don't want to smell you and please wear a mask you know the conversation of COVID has died down, but it doesn't mean that there's a cure out there. People are still getting sick. I know it's too damn hot out to wear a mask. Believe me, I know. I'm still wearing it. So please wear a mask and wash your ass because I also don't want to smell you. I already have to deal with the New York smells. You're from New York. You already know what that smells like. I have no words for it because there's no word to describe the nastiness of a New York summer. And I don't want to add your odor on top of that. So please, wear a mask and wash your ass. It's not that cereal. As you can see, we have another reaction video. That is right. I did promise you guys another fun, fun video. This is it. My last one was something that was very hard for me to record and I really hope that I don't have to record another one like that. But I made this channel to connect with you guys and with everything that was going on around that time, I needed to talk about it and I really do appreciate you guys reaching out to me on social media, leaving some comments and making me feel that I wasn't being dramatic. I honestly felt, you know, everything that I was feeling was, you know, above and beyond, but it really, it really felt nice, you know, to be acknowledged and that there were, uh, there was a lot of people who were feeling the same way I was and it really goes to show the love that we have for this industry. But I hope we have some change in it. I hope we have some change in the world real soon. But we're not going to keep talking about this. We're going to watch another death match. All right. So before we jump into the craziness, I want to apologize in advance for the lighting. I decided to record a little bit earlier today and now I'm thinking it was a complete mistake because the sun is coming in and now it's coming from here, sir. Give me 10 to 15 minutes and I'll deal with you later because you're affecting everything, including the lighting because of my makeup though. Like you're not seeing the beauty of it right now because of the stupid lighting. <laughs> I recreated Fenella before this green eyeshadow look from a couple of months ago while she was on Dynamite. Oh my God. I was so obsessed with it. I was looking for neon green, like the perfect neon green eyeshadow for a while. I found it. And to be honest, I'm not going to lie kind of was unsure about it because this kind of look is a little simple for me and I don't really get to play with a lot of greens I mean don't get me wrong it's very very cute got the shimmery on the lower lash line and everything I think it's gorgeous it looks way better on her because her artist is just she's phenomenal she really is and you know what What's the point of having makeup if you're not going to play? And of course, I'm going to perfect this one day. I feel like I'm almost there. But like I said, this is kind of simple for me. But let me stop talking about my makeup and jump into this match. Now, this is going to be the last death match that I'm going to be reacting to. No! I'm going to come back with more. I just want to watch other genres and, you know, check out, you know, different matches and see how I'm feeling about stuff. Like I said, I want to watch everything and I want to see everything. But this match, one of my friends showed me a clip of it last December and I did not know that that was this match. And this is a CZW Night of Infamy pay-per-view from last November. <sighs> Not only is this a death match, but this is an intergender death match. <laughs> oh my god. Just why? Why y'all crazy? Y'all do this. <laughs> this is a squared circle of sacrifice match between Casey Cattell and Jimmy Lloyd. I have seen both of these wrestlers live. Casey Cattell is so dope. She's she is so friggin' dope. And Jimmy Lloyd is all types of wild. Oh man. I don't think I've seen any intergender death matches. I feel like I have, but I can't really think of any on the top of my head. But this one, like I said, I saw the big spot and just, wow, just wow. So let me shut up and let's jump into this. Oh man. All right, let's do this. All right, we'll start with Casey and she's in a crop top with, it's a barbed wire crown. That's adorable. And she has a stapler. Okay. And there's barbed wires around the ring. <laughs> oh God. I'm scared. <laughs> oh man, I, 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 yo, come on. And look, she, she already got stuck. And there's no mat. 
It's just boards. Oh man. Yeah, just in case you folks at home are thinking, ah, oh, well, you know, the barbed wire they use. Yeah, yeah. Look oh, man, she's crazy. She's right fucking crazy. Jeans of Casey Gattel, with her but I guess you gotta be some kind of crazy to be a wrestler, so I guess that makes sense. And we have Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy fucking Lloyd with light tubes. All right. Um, ICW had a show this past Saturday, and it was... Wow. It was a lot. And a lot of light tubes, so... It's always fun to see light tubes. Actually, Casey Cattell did an interview with the No Holds Barred Network. You should really check that out. But she talked about this match a little bit. I completely forgot about it. And then remember what I was skimming on the Power Slam dot Okay, shit's about to go down. I mean, this Jimmy Lloyd is looking to. Hold on, let me let's let Larry do his thing. And now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for the I actually seen a couple of matches from this pay-per-view, but I didn't get a chance to see this. I'm saving it for this. Standing to my left, making her debut here in the combat zone. I mean, I shouldn't be too shocked. I've gone to ICW show where there was chains around the ring. This is barbed wire, like how <laughs> status of Jimmy Lloyd. Okay, here we go. Casey Gattel taking it to Jimmy Lloyd early. Super kick. Yeah, Bicycle she's cool. Kick. Oh, that's <laughs> psychology. That's not a move back there. Oh. Yo, already! Come on! I'm already tearing up. What the <laughs> Yo, I gotta stop doing this. Eating those light tubes. Oh man, She's trying to trying to get her face straight. Uh, that face. Gotta protect the money maker. And Jimmy uh, Lloyd just waiting on her to get up. Oh, she's busted open. Oh, Lloyd into the barbed wire. Barely got protected. Pick, picking flesh. I don't know, razor sharp there we go, staple him. There we go. Oh, she's already leaking, yo. We're like 10 seconds into this match and we already got blocked. We're less than three minutes into the match, and if you're playing deathmatch bingo, everybody's bleeding. Everyone is bleeding. That's the free space. Yes. Now, it's just, it, even going in and out of the ring is such a, a change from what Casey Cattal is used to. It, it, you're basically, you're, it's the great escape. You're, you're practically, you're That's right, girl, go after him with that stapler. Like you're escaping off. Oh, kick to the midsection. Oh, no, 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 no. no, no. Mm. Oh, no, bruh. Right to the scalp, I mean, oh. but, you Rude. know, it's not even going Rude. through, you know, to the outside of the ring, to the, you know, it's, it's taking every step because... You don't have that mat underneath you. You don't have the canvas underneath you. All you got is straight wood. Every step you take in the squared circle of sacrifice is brand new to somebody who has never been in it before. And you have to wonder oh. if fighting on the floor is better for Casey. Oh, she is leaking. I mean, I mean, into the barbed wire. There's no <sighs> barbed wire. Crazy. You have solid footing, which you wouldn't have inside the ring. Jimmy Lloyd, those wooden Jimmy points. Lloyd sent in Katal into the crowd the hard way. Oh, what? And well, giving the people what they want here in CZW. Jimmy Lloyd yeah. rearranging some furniture. Bad intentions. 
And, and while Jimmy Lloyd is setting this up, Matt, you, you touched on a, a, a great point there. Uh, the footing inside the squared circle of sacrifice is not steady. No, 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 no. Oh. Ow, yo. Body slam into the chairs. But I mean, like those wooden I mean, from side to side. intergender <laughs> matches are already... It not a lot of people's matter. cup of tea, but this is an intergender and death also match. It's cold inside the Coliseum. Right. It's late November, early December. That wood is going to warp. It's going to change shape. Look with that chair to the skull. And it's going to harden, too. It's going to be... It's going to be like falling on, on top of a concrete block. Casey Guitar. She's getting back in this thing. He's going to have to incapacitate. He's too comfortable in this environment. Oh. Jimmy Lloyd. Oh. <laughs> Goofy ass. <laughs> You already know I'm going for Casey. I'm going for homegirl. <laughs> Nothing but chair. Yo, it's crazy shit. She's so tiny too, and he's a big dude. <laughs> That's crazy. Checking her nose. She. Referee asking Nick Papa Giorgio asking Casey Catal if she wants to continue. Uh, you may want to get your coat away from there, sir. Yeah, that's gonna get yeah, blood a, all over. That's a dry cleaning bill. Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy Lloyd just calling for chairs, calling for everyone to toss their chairs on the Casey Catal. And you can see, like Jimmy Lloyd, yeah, he went through the chairs on the cannonball, but Casey Catal, she's not used to this. She, she's, she was unable to capitalize, and Jimmy Lloyd, who's felt this stuff before. He's uh, back in the driver's seat, as it were. And it's not looking good. As oh, they're coming near us. Oh, God. That wasn't a pretty landing for Casey. Yeah, it was it's not. It's a hard way. Really trying to clear out of space to send Katal, Katal back into the let's ringside just area. Let's just hope they took their holiday card photos already. It's not, it's not going to be, oh, what is that? Oh, those, those are wire cutters. Those are, oh, oh, no, no. Oh, no. Jimmy Lloyd driving that barbed wire into the face. You hear the cries. What homegirl should have done was that little barbed wire crown should have wrapped that shit around her knuckles, like, barbs in bro. The forehead, into the exposed flesh of Casey Catal. Dragging her back into the square. I mean, I would have done something like that. But. And, and, and you see, <laughs> when they were rolling into the ring, how those wooden boards were moving. Yo, come on. Good service to be on. And now listen to Casey Again. Cattell screaming in pain. This is, the, this is the first and now second time since she's experiencing barbed wire to the forehead. Yeah, and ordinarily you could rest in that. Oh, time no. In the you can't do that Here we go. You, can't get rest you would think I would be so used to seeing anything with barbed wires on it when it comes to tables or friggin' bats or anything. No, I'm not. This is not something to be used to at all. Casey oh, Cattell. She's all busted up. Oh, yeah. She's not in a Barbed wire just coiling as Jimmy Lloyd cuts it. After abandoning Jimmy Lloyd in the cornfield, after denying him chances at the CZW World Championship, by tossing him into a trunk. Whoa. What the hell? What's this? What's going on? What's that? Okay, there's Bay. Of this. Brandon Kirk. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, I've seen him at a show too. The same show that Casey was in. I didn't know they were married. I was like, oh my god, that's so cute. He looked like Fake Man Page at that show. Oh, ow. Okay. He's fighting husband and wife. Alright, sir. Barely avoiding all them chairs and look at Casey Tal. Oh, into the barbed wire. Casey Cattell. There we go. Goofy ass. <laughs> into the door covered in barbed wire. Yo, I don't know how people can get used to that. Did not get all the cover one, one two. two. Two count only. See Brandon Kirk. Oh, nice. Onto the wood. And you see how those boards shift. Come on. Two. 
I like seeing Canadian destroyers from like, smaller people, not on bigger wrestlers. Not only to those boards, but shards of light too. It's Katal. It's all trying to trying to find her footing here. But she's gonna head to the outside of the ring. Calling for Collins. something. Oh, oh, what's that? No. Those glass panes, those Breaking. glass panels. And glass table. It was only a matter of time. Of course. Chair. Panels and chairs. Okay. That air horn lets us know that it is OSHA certified. And not a good position for Jimmy Lloyd right now. Brandon Kirk still getting his wits about him on the outside. As Katal getting that sheet of plate glass. Uh, let's be real, Matt. Uh, Jimmy Lloyd will never get his wits about him. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. Well, she is That's such a freaking trooper. Man. <laughs> Brandon Kirk trying to get whatever his wits are about him. Oh, oh, oh up on his shoulders. Oh, no. oh, no, 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 no. Air raid crash. Oh, my God. <laughs> Through the glass. Number one. Homegirl just died like five times. <laughs> and we're probably what? The thing with this kind of match, not I don't even know how many minutes were into this match. She like died five times. And that had to be pure adrenaline that kept Casey Catal going, getting the kick out. It was that shot of adrenaline. Couldn't have been anything else. This crowd behind Jimmy Lloyd and Jimmy Lloyd calling for something too. Really feeding off of that energy. A conga line of chaos here inside the squared circle of sacrifice. You got those those wooden beams just. Oh, another out. one. Not more barbed wire coming. More like, wood, more barbed oh. wire. Black Friday sale gone amok. Gone amok. Well, Jimmy Lloyd directing traffic. Oh, Hold on, they're putting glass over the barbed wire. What's that? Another door? And now he's gonna cut this side. It looks like. Yo. The side they, facing God us. God bless the imaginative staff here at the CZW yeah. for uh, just bringing that and the glass and saying, "Here, have this." Team players. Yes. Be a team and player. Kirk, Kirk, getting himself back up, nearly up to a vertical base. Wasn't set to compete tonight, had the night off. He's obviously here in support of his wife. Absolutely, Brandon Kirk now back into the, the ring. Shield. Brandon Kirk, oh no, God! Brandon, stop. <laughs> Let your wife do what she gotta do. Oh, Chill! Oh my God! Casey to the outside of the ring. Yo. Ow. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo. This is so beef. This is so beef. Jesus Christ. Stand by your man has a whole new man in here tonight. You want to talk about a Yo, I, 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 Yo. She's in a crop top. What the? <laughs> I can't get over that. I mean, I get it, but no. <laughs> Not in the death match. This woman is a lunatic. I don't know. The look of surprise across the face of Jimmy Lloyd when Casey kicked out. Casey Gatton. Yeah. A lot of fight still left. How is she doing this? This does not look good. Uh, no, no, oh, no. Yo. <laughs> Why? Why? Why is this a thing? I mean, thank God it was just her boots. Like, if he would have, like, tossed her, 
and we're gonna like her back, yo. Girl, she died like 10 times. There we go, husband. Oh, look at the other one, too. Yo, bro, come on. There we go. I don't, you know what? I don't care that her man's interfered. Just no, no, no. <laughs> I can't, yo, I can't. Somebody talk because I don't have yo, any words. Wow. Casey Gatal has survived. She just looked like all types of death. Like, poor girl died like 10 times in this match. <laughs> Yo, this shit is crazy. This Yo. <laughs> I know intergender wrestling isn't a lot of people's cup of tea, but deathmatch intergender wrestling? This is... I don't think I could get used to this. I mean, I'm open-minded. <laughs> Yo. Just blow her up! <laughs> I can't. Alright, so... The respect I have for Casey Cattell, girl, girl, you're fucking crazy. <laughs> oh man, well, that's it. This match wasn't that long. I think it was probably maybe like 10 minutes or so. Well, the actual match, I think it was about like seven or eight minutes, but a lot went on. And, you know, death matches are just, they're... There's type of something. <laughs> That's all I can say. But, um, thank you for tuning in. Like I said, this is going to be my last deathmatch reaction video for a while. If there are any other matches that you guys want me to check out, I've seen some of you guys left in some of my pre pre previous videos in the comments. I'm going to check those. Going to check those out on my own because, like I said, I do want to see other matches. But if there are any matches out there that are not death matches, whether they're comedic, Japanese, any. Any type of matches that you think that I will have a crazy reaction for, send them my way. You can follow me on social media. I'm nice. Everything will be in the description box down below, including all the makeup products that I use to create this look. This video is going to be out after the 4th, so I hope you guys had a great 4th. Have a safe weekend, and I'll see you soon. Bye.